hello friends welcome to a new video today this video i'm going to explain you the difference between css value and attribute so many people are confused like when to use css value and when to use attribute value one thing you have to remember that css values are nothing but some properties of the element for example height width color background color etc whereas attributes are present inside the html dom structure for example, uh, if I inspect this uh, search button, here we can see the input tag, right? Inside that, we have something called id is equal to nav search submit button. And we have type is equal to submit and class is equal to some value and then uh, value is equal to go and then tab index is equal to zero. All these are attributes right so id is an attribute type is an attribute class is an attribute value is an attribute and tab index is also an attribute of this search button and the corresponding attribute values are nav search submit button submit and then nav input nav progress attribute go and zero are the attribute values when it comes to css when you click on any element in the html dom you can see some properties in the styles tab right so all these are css element uh, let's say uh, we want to find out the color of this element or let's say background color of the search button so uh, we can search for some background color uh, property over here but there is no uh, color property so what we can do we can go to the immediate parent element then we can again search for the color if it is not visible again we can go to the next parent element uh, here we can see the background color property but we have to make sure that the element is still highlighting the search button and not any other but not any other element right so here you can see background color there is some value and uh, you know to confirm that if you change the color of the element see the color also uh, the color is getting changed in the ui as well right so that means uh, we have uh, selected the correct uh, web element Sometimes uh, now to find out the uh, correct CSS property value we may have to go with the parent element but we have to make sure that the parent element is still highlighting the element under it. So here uh, background color is a property value just like that we have other properties background image, border, width etc. Right. So now we can write a code how to find out this or how to validate the background color is orange of the search button and also we can see uh, how we can make use of attribute value or uh, to get uh, attribute of any element in our automation framework. So I've created two test classes, two test class files, test attribute CSS. Here I have uh, declared uh, the web driver and I'm also opening up the Chrome browser and uh, uh, hitting the Amazon.in uh, URL. And uh, in the page class, len attribute uh, page class, I'm just initializing the web driver. And now we can write some functions over here. So uh, first we can initialize all our web elements. So let me try to find out the X path of the search button first. So I'm making use of ID, but instead of directly putting the ID, what I'm doing, I'm writing X path because ID is just an attribute. So what we can do if we are writing the X path, we can change the ID value, right? Let's say in, I can write input at the rate id is equal to this id value. So here id is just an attribute. I can change this id into any other attribute. I can make use of class or I can use any other attribute in the same element, right? But we have to make sure that there is it is highlighting only one element. So this is one place where we are making use of uh, attributes uh, to write the x path. But we have another inbuilt function also get attribute value and that is our main goal here uh, we will see the difference between get attribute and get CSS value so we are done with writing the xpath for search button and let me write xpath for other elements too and in order to get the uh, background color we have to go with the parent element right uh, the parent element is only giving the background color so let me write the xpath of the parent element of the search button
so we are done with initializing the web elements now our motive is to uh, input some text into the search box and then clicking the uh, search button right so let me write one function enter search term So I have written one two function center search term and then clicking the search button. Now our uh, uh, main function which is to get the CSS value of the search button. So for that what we can make use of. So I am returning the value. So I will uh, make the return type as string. And there is something called there is an input function get CSS value that will provide us any CSS value. So what would be the CSS value so that we can pass it from the test class. Let us create the object of this class. And then uh, get CSS value. So what would be the attribute value? So it should be background color, right? So it has to be the same text which is uh, given in the styles tab. We can copy it from here background color. So we are returning something so we can uh, store that value in some property, some variable. Now let us print out that value. Now we can call the remaining functions. Click search button and enter search term and then click search button which is which is not very important here because I just want to show you that we are making use of attribute in order to write text path. So let us uh, run this uh, script. It should input mobile and it clicked on the search button and uh, it should have printed some uh, CSS value also right in the console. Let us check. See we got some CSS value but it is in the RGBA format. So uh, we can validate, we can uh, take that uh, uh, CSS value, we can convert it to RGBA using some online tool and, and that way we can validate. This is how we can find out the CSS value of uh, any element. We can make use of uh, the function called get CSS value. Now we will see how we can make use of uh, get attribute value of an element. Let's say I want to print the class attribute value which is uh, nav input nav progressive attribute so we will see how we can write that public string get attribute value and attribute also we can pass it from the test class return uh, search button dot but we can make use of uh, get attribute value there is an input function in selenium get attribute so you can use get attribute of and then attribute parameter name we have to pass now let me call that function in the test class string attribute value is equal to learn dot get attribute value of and we can pass class we want to print class attribute value right now let's run this script so this time it printed uh, both the uh, class attribute and the uh, background color See we got the uh, exact attribute class attribute value right. So this is the difference between get attribute and get CSS value. We will see one more example. So we can uh, take some other example. Let's say I want to print out this uh, width 
which is uh, 45 px so what we can do instead of uh, passing background color we can pass width and instead of uh, class i've passed type right in the get attribute value and now let us see So we got uh, CSS value which is width 45 px and attribute value type is equal to submit. So now you know the exact difference between uh, CSS value and attribute right. So it's an interview question also. Uh, so if you have liked this video please don't forget to click the like button. We will see you with another video next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.